Beijing is ramping up its efforts to root out suspected spies, enlisting ordinary Chinese citizens to help track down potential undercover Western agents. Xi Jinping's government is recruiting college students to be a defense line against Western governments. And others have been playing a training game called Who's the Spy? Uh, let's dig into this one a bit further with Mike Baker. He spent nearly two decades as a CIA covert operations officer and is now the CEO of Global Intelligence and security firm Portman Square Group. Uh, Mike, it's good to see you again. Uh, this Thank you. Who's the spy? I mean, this sounds like something I came up with in fourth grade. Uh, it sounds elementary, but how concerned should we be by this and just your take on the trainings themselves? <laughs> Yeah, well, this is a kind of a traditional page out of the Communist Party playbook, whether you're talking about China or you're talking about Russia. Uh, Russia during the Cold War days and Soviet Union, uh, they essentially employed every citizen on the street, right? A, a street sweeper, a concierge a standing at a door of an apartment building. It didn't matter. They were all expected to support the party uh, and the intel apparatus, you know, by keeping an eye out for anything suspicious, watching foreigners, uh, surveillance on the street uh, and reporting back to whomever was running their particular little block. So what the Communist Party of China is doing is is not unusual in the sense of how they tend to operate. But what is uh, fascinating about this is the timing of it all, right? The intensity and the ramping up of this effort to root out Western spies is coming at a time when, interestingly, Xi may be facing more criticism inside the party and more pressure inside the party than the West uh, is is anticipating, right? We've always felt, for, for years now, we felt, well, Xi has this, this strongman grip on the on the Communist Party there uh -huh. in China. And recently, we've seen some, some cracks in that. And so this may be, in part, a response to that, along with a response to the fact that their economy is not doing particularly well. So they're worried. Yeah, I know there, you know, speaking of tactics, there are posters up at all these schools telling students to look out for espionage, report it if they see it. Also, some police have encouraged citizens to quiz neighbors that they mistrust on pop culture to test their patriotism. Uh, what are some other reasons that Beijing is so paranoid about fighting this right now? Yeah, the one thing that they worry about most, right? The only thing that really keeps Xi and his, and his cadre and, and the party up at night is losing control of the population, mm. right? And that, that, that's it. They want to maintain power. And the way that they lose power is if the population becomes dissatisfied, takes to the streets, or, or, or just starts looking for an alternative to the longstanding party. And again, with the economy uh, having some really significant difficulties uh, and that that's got them concerned there have been protests and we there's always protests in china that we never hear about right they're very yes. effective the party is clamping down on that and so anytime you, you you see a move like this by by a communist party in, in a country it tends to mean it tends to point to the fact that they're getting more nervous about their hold on power and when you bring up protests, um, you know, we have a few seconds left. I was thinking back to last year, you know, earlier this morning, we saw those rare nationwide protests in China with some calling for Xi's removal. So how did we go, you know, from Chinese citizens calling for Xi's job to now pivoting to spying for his government so quickly? I mean, how are the Chinese people taking all this? Well, what they're looking for, uh, Putin is a great example in Russia. Anytime Putin feels threatened um, in terms of his hold on power, he tends to, to point to an outside bogeyman, right? We, we're, we're, under, we're under threat. The motherland's under threat. And the, the Chinese Communist Party is really no different in a sense. And so what they're doing is they're pivoting and they're saying, oh, you know, problems we're having are a result of the West attacking us. You know, we're under attack from, from outside forces. Therefore, we need the population. Let's all pull together. And part of that is let's all report on each other because, you know, we want to keep everybody in line. Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a fascinating situation and one that definitely bears watching. Yeah, I'd be interested to know how many people don't want to partake in any of this there, but they're afraid to go against the grain. They're afraid to, you know, go against she and what those consequences and repercussions might look like. Uh, Mike Baker, as always, thanks so much for the discussion. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.